So my name is Nahum Shaman. I'm a systems administrator at Museum Digital. I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about SmartOS. Uh, so first of all, Gage, who's heard of Solaris, ZFS, Dtrace, Zones, KVM? They exist. Okay, so <laughs> all those things exist, and all of those things have been smushed together in one operating system you can use as a hypervisor. Uh, so so uh, KVM, most of you know, is from the is the kernel virtual machine from the Linux kernel. So when just before announcing their SmartOS, the engineers at Joint ported KVM from the Linux kernel to the Illumos kernel. Illumos descendant of OpenSolaris, descendant of OpenSolaris. Uh, so with KVM, you can run pretty much any operating system you want. You can run Windows, you can run Linux, you can run Haiku if you really want to, uh, FreeBSD, any of those things. Uh, on your, on your as, as a guest OS on your hypervisor. So why would they do that, and why would I want to use Smart OS instead of just running it on Linux with KVM? So ZFS, Dtrace and Zones. ZFS, obviously, I sleep better at night when my data is secure, and I can check and make sure that it's still there. That ZFS is keeping, keeping it safe for me. But in particular, uh, when it comes to virtualization, you can. If you have a your your virtual machine's hard drive image as a ZFS Z ball, you can snapshot it and clone it and get lots of clones really really rapidly. We run um, like 10 VMs on the, on a on a node, and each of them is taking up like one or two gigs, even though the the main image is 20 gigs because of this this thin provisioning that we get from ZFS. Uh, zones. So if any of you heard at some point there was a bug in KVM where you could actually break out of the human process and get onto the, uh, the, the host OS. So on, in a Solaris zone, you, you could lock, and what, ZFS, what Smart OS does is it locks the KVM, the chemo process, into a zone where you can't even do anything like a fork. Uh, so if someone breaks out of the KVM via virtual machine and into the host OS, they find themselves in a zone where they can do absolutely nothing, which, uh, which makes me sleep better at night as well. Uh, Dtrace is great for guys all know for analyzing what is going on on the system and when it's slow, when your application is slow, when the system is slow. Uh, one of the important things that, that Dtrace and Zones give you on SmartOS is if you're not interested in running Linux or Windows and all you really want to run is like a web server or an application in Perl, Python, PHP, whatever, if you run it in a, in a zone, suddenly you're running on a real, you're A, no longer paying the virtualization penalty. Uh, an extra kernel, but in addition, you get the power of Dtrace. You can you can instrument your database in production, find out why it's slow, turn it back off again without having to restart it, turn on debugging in your application, things like that. Uh, and that is I totally. I was assuming I was going to have to explain all of those. <laughs> uh, can you dance? <laughs> you don't have to take it the whole no, time. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to. Uh, certainly, if, you, if, you're, if, if this has piqued your curiosity, you should definitely check out smartos.org. Um, I have something to waste my last minute on. So, so this is all great, and that's what you can get from, from stock smartos. Something you might want to ask me about is, in addition to all this, I actually use smartos to do desktop virtualization. So the SPICE protocol was built by the same people who built KVM. And I've worked with the SmartOS engineers so that with a little bit of extra goop that I've worked on, you can run uh, VMs with that speed the SPICE protocol. So we have an office full of people who connect to their virtual machines over the SPICE protocol. They can their, their VMs run on our servers in the server room, but they can stream video as almost as well as if they were using a native machine at their desk. And, uh, Thank you.